Cobbiz. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Cobbiz. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the parameters of the classification of IVD medical devices. CDSCO manages the affairs relating to the classification of IVD medical devices. The same department operates under the purview of the Drug Controller General of India (DCGI), the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and Rules (1949 and 1945) constitute the regulatory framework for each medical device in India. The Health Ministry of India has released the new IVD Medical Devices Regulation to improve the effectiveness of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act. In this video, we will discuss the classification of IVD Medical Devices. So, what are the in vitro diagnostic devices? In vitro diagnostic medical devices are instruments, reagents, and systems intended to diagnose a disease or other conditions, including to cure, determine the state of health, mitigate. Treat or prevent disease. These devices are intended for the preparation, collection, and examination of specimens taken by the human body. Next, what we are going to talk about is the classification of these IVD devices. The new medical device rules categorize 2016 IVD in vitro diagnostics into four classes, ranging from class A to class D, based on the parameters described in the official gazette published on 17th October 2016. Class A, these are low risk devices. Class B, moderate risk. Class C, moderate to high risk, and Class D, high risk devices. Let's start with Class A. In vitro diagnostic medical devices used in IVD procedures shall be assigned to Class A in case it is intended to be used as a substance or an object possesses any specific characteristics its object owner intends to make suitable for IVD procedures related to a certain examination. a device specifically to be used for an ivd procedure for a variety of containers are classed as class a devices next is class b ivd medical devices for self testing referred to in sub clause a shall be assigned to class b and intended to be used to get test results which are not for the determination of medically critical status and preliminary test results that needs confirmation through the appropriate laboratory test Other IVD medical devices shall be assigned to class B in case clauses 2I and 2V don't apply to it or a substance or product used for the analysis of the performance of an analytical process or a part of thereof without a qualitative or quantitative assigned value. Next is class C. Class C is used for detecting the exposure to or presence of a sexually transmitted diseases detecting the presence in cerebrospinal fluid blood of an infection agent with a risk of propagation prenatal screening of women to determine their immune system status towards transmissible agents detecting the presence of an infectious agent where there is a significant risk that an incorrect result will cause death severe disability to the individual or fetus being tested determining the infective diseases status or immune system status where there is a risk that an erroneous result will lead to patient's management decision resulting in imminent life threatening situation for the patient being tested testing of human genetics etc are the classifications for the class c devices next is class d IVD medical device for detecting transmissible agents shall be assigned to class D in case it is intended to be used for detecting the exposure to or presence of transmissible agent in any blood blood component cell tissue blood derivative or organ as the case may be for transplantation or transfusion or causes a life threatening disease with a high risk of propagation the CDSCO's new classification system is a step forward towards commercialization and registration of IVD as the indian market of the ivd is expected to cross billion dollars very soon so this was all about the topic for more such content keep watching our channel cobbis this is yash saxena signing off thank you